So hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another training webinar. Again, today we'll be taking a look at how to use Nimble for prospecting. And for those of you that are either new to Nimble or thinking about trialing it, let's quickly take a look at what Nimble CRM is. Nimble is an easy to use CRM that works for you in Office 365, G Suite, and everywhere else you work. It automatically combines your contacts, communication histories, email inboxes, and calendar appointments. It also integrates with social media and with over 200 different applications like MailChimp, QuickBooks Online, Outlook Contact, and more. For today's webinar, we'll jump right into some ideas on how you can use Nimble to prospect on the web and also on social media. The main feature we will be using today will be Nimble Prospector. Nimble Prospector is a browser extension that helps you manage contacts everywhere you work, in your email inbox, social platforms, business apps, and on any website. You can install it into your Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, Outlook, or Gmail inbox. My colleague will be sharing links to all the places from which you can download the extension from. So Nadia, if you don't mind um, sending the link for the prospector page, that would be fantastic. I also have my colleague Nadia on the line. She's located in Santa Monica, forgot to mention that. So the reason why we created Nimble Prospector is that we know that nobody likes having to stop what they're doing and go into their CRM to log all the information in it. We all, we all spend most of our time in our email inbox doing research and prospecting on various different websites and on social media platforms like LinkedIn. You as the business owner and or salesperson know that research is by far the most important aspect of prospecting. Research estimates that about 50% of sales time is wasted on unproductive prospecting. When doing your research online, it's important to make sure that you are not wasting your time and that you're capturing the most important information. The information you want to capture should be the information that you can use to qualify and then prioritize your prospects as well as to find opportunities to reach out to them and build rapport. Most of you are probably very interested in knowing how you can utilize Nimble when prospecting on LinkedIn. So let's start by going on LinkedIn and discussing all the different ways how you can use um, Prospector to create new contact records, update them with new information, and or create new contact records. So let me go to LinkedIn. Okay, so after you've installed Nimble Prospector, oh, I need to go out of full screen first. So uh, I'm going to be demonstrating it on Chrome. You can go to any website, open up the extension by clicking on that um, icon right there. And then either hover over any hyperlinked name or highlight it to have Nimble Prospector help you create new or updating existing contact records. So this is the LinkedIn homepage. When scrolling down the homepage, you can simply bring up Prospector and just hover over any hyperlinked name, as I said. Uh, Nimble will either surface an existing contact record for you or will help you create a brand new one. So um, let's start here. Without having to leave LinkedIn and type information manually, Nimble will help you to create a rich contact record for your prospects. Please note that the more people share about themselves on LinkedIn or on social media, uh, the more information you'll be able to capture. So when hovering over someone's name who is not yet in your Nimble database, um, you, Nimble will first show you what was called a live profile and giving you the option to review the information we found and determine if you want to add them to your database. So if you decided that you want to add them, you would click the add contact button and you could take further actions like um, adding tags and filling out the lead details such as you would add a tag right here, by the way. So you can add one for linked in contacts December 2020. Dave. And you can also fill out the lead details such as rating, status, source, type, and owner, editing the contact record or add notes, log any past activities, schedule, schedule future activities like calls, events, or tasks, or any custom activities that you have. You can also send them a message and update the deal information from the top of the screen right here. And then if this person doesn't have a photo, you can just click on it and you could change the photo if you had one available. So you can also use Nimble Prospector to create contact records from reactions on LinkedIn. 
So you would click on the number of interactions. And you can do this on your competitor's post so that you can see who's interacting with them. Uh, and then hover over any name on the list. And you can see that it's starting to build records for all of the people that I hyperlinked. And then you could add the contact and do everything that we were talking about with the first one. And since I don't have this person in my CRM, I don't have any interactions to show. So Nimble Prospector also allows you to create prospect lists. Um, as you can see, you can hover over multiple prospect names and create um, a list of prospects. And you could add them to Nimble by simply clicking on the plus sign button next to their name. If they haven't been added yet, if they're already in your CRM, then they wouldn't have the plus sign next to their name. And then you can select all and you could do bulk actions like tagging. So uh, I can also add them to the LinkedIn contacts December 2020 tag. And on you can also delete them if you wanted to, but you can also just organize them for future outreach. So the extension will automatically be displayed on the right side of your screen, but in case you want to move it, if it's blocking something, you can move it on the other side of the screen with this toggle switch. So like that, I think it looks better right here personally, so I'm going to keep it right there. And then when using Nimble Prospector on someone's LinkedIn profile instead of on the home page, you will either have to highlight their name or click on contact info on their profile and then hover over the LinkedIn profile link. So let's pick on John. Okay, so I think my screen is stuck. So as I said, pull up the contact or the prospector. You would either highlight his name, and you can see that it started building the list of Johns. <laughs> I have a couple of him in my CRM, so there's a little bit of a duplication going on. Or you can go to um, contact info, and you could highlight the profile link, and it would pull up him as well. So when reading through somebody's profile, you can easily copy and paste any important information you'd like to store in Nimble. So in John's case, let me switch it around. In John's case, I definitely am interested that he was the co-founder of Goldmine. And I would want to capture that because it could be something that my sales team could use um, as a conversation starter. So we would select the information that we wanted to copy and paste into the CRM, click on John's profile, and then you go to edit at the top. And then you can see that um, there's a field for description. So what you would do is you would select add description and copy and paste what you want to add. And you can choose the type. So in this instance, it's LinkedIn. And you would just copy and paste the information there. So please note that any information you put into Nimble will be segmentable inside the main Nimble application. Consider capitalizing keywords so you and your salespeople can easily see what information might be worth mentioning when calling your prospects or when crafting emails to them. So then after you're done with that, you would just click the save button and it would save. <clears throat> so before we move to showing how you can use Nimble on other social sites, Let's review how you may want to continue your research about your prospects you just identified on LinkedIn. So Nimble Prospector will also work on any company website. So let's go to the Nimble website. Sometimes you might find yourself researching more about the individual on their company website. So you can use Nimble Prospector on the main site to create a, cop a company record and link it to an existing contact record. So you can see that once I opened up the extension, it already pulled up a company record for Nimble. Um, so you would just navigate to the company site, open up Nimble Prospector, and it will automatically start creating the company record for you. 
So you would save the company record. I already have this one saved in my CRM. And then you would go back to the extension and then you'd use the search option to find the person's contact record. And there he is. And then you would click edit. And in the um, organization uh, field, you can start typing the company name and Nimble will automatically bring it up for you so you don't have to type the whole thing out, which is pretty nifty. I'm sure everybody loves anything that will save them even a split second of time. <laughs> so let me save that. And now when you have the company, the person works for a link to their contact record in Nimble, you can continue your research. A good idea is to go see what the person wrote about themselves in their own company site. So most companies have an about us section and that can be a great source of information. And similar to what we did on his um, LinkedIn profile, you could highlight the person's name, bring up their Nimble record, and then copy and paste any information from their bio into Nimble. So you have it on their contact record for later database segmentation purposes or to help you personalize your outreach to them. So as we already demonstrated on LinkedIn, Prospector will also work on any other social site. So you can also use it on Twitter. So let's go to Twitter. So you can bring up the Nimble extension on your homepage and hover over any hyperlinked name and it'll create um, a, new con a new contact record or you have the ability to update an existing one. So after clicking on a tweet, you can hover over any of the names that have that um, people have interacted with. So, okay. So this can be done from any of the tweets, not just yours. So if you wanted to again go to um, one of your competitors' pages and see who they were interacting with on Twitter, a little bit sneaky, you can definitely do that from the Nimble Post Prospector browser extension. You can also use it to see how people are interacting with your own content and who the people that just started following you are. So you would go to notifications and hover over any name there and it'll start bringing up contact records. If you use Twitter list, you might enjoy our Twitter list import integration. Twitter lists are a great way to organize your contacts on Twitter and cut through the clutter that Twitter can be. So you can go to your list or anybody else's list on Twitter as long as the Twitter list is public or live. You'll be able to import it into Nimble directly from the Twitter interface. So you can, of course, still use Nimble Prospector to bring prospects into Nimble one by one as well. So you go to list and you would select the Twitter list of your choice and watch for the Nimble Twitter list import button at the bottom left of your screen. You'll then be able to import the entire list of people into Nimble with the default tag, which would be the name of the Twitter list, or you can change it to something else manually. Um, you can also use, as we said, Prospector on any company site or any website on the web. So if you're attending a virtual or in-person conference, or if you're using in influencer marketing as part of your marketing strategy, you might wanna review the list of speakers prior to attending the conference, or just to use it to research influencers to build relationships with. So as an example, I know that there aren't any in-person uh, summits going on, so let's go to the Sales Growth Virtual Summit page. And then you would go to the speaker section. And then when you pull up Nimble Prospector, you could highlight over any highlight or hyperlinked name and Nimble will start building the list or the contact record for you. So those are just a few of the use cases of Nimble Prospector. You can also use it in your inbox. And then if you um, already have the Prospector extension um, downloaded, it will come up automatically in your inbox. So you can see that it's already pulling up information from my Gmail account. And this also works in Outlook as well. So that covers most of what I wanted to cover today, actually. So I wanted to take a second to discuss the next training webinars. Um, next week, 
which is, oops, sorry. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> so the last webinar of 2020, which is crazy, will be next week on the 30th. Uh, it's Nimble 101, which will be a Nimble CRM general overview. And then the first webinar of 2021 will be about segmentation, group messaging, and custom fields. And then the one after that will be another CRM general overview. And then at the end of the month, we'll go over um, contact cleanup strategies. A special offer for new users. So if you sign up today, you get 30 days of Nimble for free. And if you're already in trial, you can um, reach out to us at caretnimble.com and we will happily extend your trial to the 30 days. And Nettie, if you don't mind dropping a link to the offer page so that people can easily access it, that would be great. So let me take a second and see what questions we have. Hmm. One second, it's getting set up here. So Cammy's asking, is it still the case where LinkedIn won't allow you to download your network list? So you can import your LinkedIn connections into Nimble by downloading them from your LinkedIn account and then using our CSV import to bring them into Nimble. And then Paul Dean is asking, if John was associated with three companies, would you be able to see the relationship links? Um, are you asking like if he worked for multiple companies, if you were to if you were to be able to see that. Um, if so, you could manually add more um, more descriptions and by copy and pasting the information from his LinkedIn into the um, prospector extension. Mm. I think. Will you be sending a link of the recording of this webinar? Asked Dan. And yes, we will. We'll be sending um, a follow-up email shortly after the webinar, which will include the um, presentation. Kathleen is asking, how do I download the extension? Uh, Nedia, I believe, uh, shared the link to the prospector um, page, and that should give you the option to download it for whatever extension that you need. If you're doing um, an Outlook add-in, you have to go to the Outlook um, App Store, and Nettie, if, you, if, you, if it's not too much trouble, if you don't mind finding that link real quick, and you can download it from there. <clears throat> okay. Can you show us how to capture from Outlook? Yes, one second. So I already have the extension um, added. So where is my nimble? I should have it. Make sure. Though. Hmm. Oh, it's working offline. Oh, uh, my. Um, I've been having issues with my my disk drive, so it's probably not showing up. But um, typically there would be an icon right here that would just be the nimble icon, and then you would pull it up, and then you could highlight um, the person's name, and it would build the um, contact record that we were seeing on um, LinkedIn and on Twitter. So it's, it's basically the same. You just have to download it from the um, App Store and then you would automatically see the icon here. Sorry, I couldn't demonstrate that in real time. Uh, I have the Nimble extension in my browser for Outlook 365, but also use the Outlook software. How do I download to Outlook? 
Yeah, so again, you just go to the um, the app store and then you would download it from there. Are tags for companies the same as tags for contacts? Uh, by tagging company, will it show under contacts? No, um, because there are two different kinds of records, so you couldn't um, merge a contact or a company. Okay, so it seems like we don't have any more questions coming in. So with that, I would just like to thank everyone for joining today. And I hope that no matter what holiday you're celebrating, that you're having an amazing holiday season, despite um, 2020 not being what anybody wanted it to be. And I hope that you guys have a great 2021. Thank you.